Welcome to Open House. We have got a lot to cover today, so we are getting started in the Hollywood Hills with in-demand architect Paul McLean. McLean is known for creating luxurious modern homes that communicate with their natural surroundings, and this home is no different. It features incredible views with living spaces that open up, just beckoning you to step into the Southern California sunshine. Paul takes us in for a closer look. Hello, my name is Paul McLean of McLean Design and I'm the architect for this house at 1536 Blue Jay Way in the Hollywood Hills here in California. It's about 9,000 square feet and has six bedrooms, two swimming pools, and I'm looking forward to showing you around. We've got great views. Come on in. Right now, we're standing in the entry and the first thing you see, of course, is the amazing view. Behind me is the dining area, which leads out into this little water courtyard. The courtyard has a water feature, which is one of our signature things that we do. It's a great background to dining, and if it's a little chilly like today, you've got a fireplace on each side to keep you warm. Now let me take you over to the living and kitchen area. Sitting here in the living room, you start to get a feeling of what this house is really about, the relationship between indoors and outdoors. Sliding walls of glass disappear for a smooth flow between the garden and the view beyond. We felt if we connected the living room directly to the kitchen and the dining room, that you'd be able to create a better environment for casual entertaining and just so that people could relax and enjoy each other's company. So I know you've all been waiting for this, so let's go out and take a look at that view. So here it is, the view, why people want to live in the Hollywood Hills. You can see all the way from downtown LA all the way through to the ocean. And out here we have our swimming pool. It's an infinity edge pool that cascades into a plunge pool down below with a built-in spa. There's a place for alfresco dining, somewhere for people to catch some rays. If you look around, you can get a feeling for the architecture. There's the exposed steel beams here, the wood ceilings, and over here, you can see the indoor outdoor connection to the master bedroom, which is where we're gonna go next. So here we are in the master bedroom, which has beautiful views in every direction. So to make the most of that, we use corner sliding glass, so two of the walls of this room completely disappear. A fireplace, of course, for those romantic evenings. We have a fantastic bathroom, which has the floating tub where you can soak at night with the city lights. But earlier I told you this house was all about entertaining, and there's one more place I want to take you to. So this staircase is one of my favorite things in the house, and we use it to bring light down to the lower level so it doesn't feel quite like a basement. It has this fantastic skylight overhead and these great paintings which are just such a pop of color. So we're finally down here in this entertainment space, and what a great place it is. We've got the sunshine cascading down the stairs, lighting up the wine cellar. And on the left side, we have one of our signature water features that's bouncing light into this space here, which juxtaposes with the fireplace. There's also this bar, which I'm holding up. In addition, we have a full media room and three bedrooms on this level. So this is where all that water from the swimming pool finally ends up in this private plunge pool below. And that's something this house is all about. The connection between the indoors and outdoors, between the top level and the bottom level. Thank you again for joining me. Until next time.